Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Captain Mark Holmes. <laughs> Yay, Grandpa! Grandpa, what the hell is that? Hey, Mayday, this is Cessna 16 Charlie. We are moving into restricted airspace. You have to divert. Apache! American. Yes, hi, uh, my name is Fatmir Doga. So I'm born and raised in Albania. I'm a Canadian citizen. I did the Academy of Fine Arts in Albania, which is four years focused on acting. Being a foreign, you face so many challenges. And if it's the first feature, you face more challenges. You don't know where is the DP, you don't know with who you work, and hiring line producers, producers, hiring people, you may go and hire troublemakers, people that come to the, instead of bringing good energy, bringing bad energy, you don't have a network of people that you know, you don't have experience, who are you gonna trust? And every movie that I did, always I found some troublemakers. You face a lot of things, but in the first time feature film, I think the director has to be open to do everything. Pushing the dolly, I did everything in my first feature. That's your passport to the film industry. Every second of my life, every day of my life, I was thinking of making movies. I learned the basics in academy, and then I start writing a script, which uh, I was not able to, to make a feature film. Then I start writing the second feature, the second script, which is called In Between. I start giving a copy of the script to my friends and I, I got very good reviews everybody was telling me that wow this is very emotional I will never forget never for the rest of my life the first time that I faced with with, with picturing the whole movie in my head having balancing the whole story inside of your head is a big deal so you, you, you just you have to zoom in or you have to zoom out to see if you are screwing up with some scenes or if you are putting scenes, unnecessary scenes in the movie, or if you are repeating yourself. After, after a week of dealing with this, I start drying pictures, and I had my wall full of pictures, drying from the first scene to the last scene, see the whole movie. So I was 100% sure I will never make a mistake during the film. I was positive about that. But this is not enough, because in order to do this, you have to raise money. We end up on, on facing a big challenge with the money. Finally, one of my friends, <clears throat> he, I told him the story. I gave him the script, and I made him cry. He said, I like it. <clears throat> he said, deal. That's how my career started with that. During the filming, you have actors, and everybody knows that you are a first-time director. When you make decisions, you see that some actors, they made doubt on your decisions. You have two different, uh, let's say, acting. One actor giving you two different actings. Which one you're going to take? You have to make the decision. And I believe that makes a director. If you get influenced by everybody, you're never going to be a director. You need to listen to people's opinion. But once you start filming, then that's it. You're dealing with human beings. You have to know before you become a director, before deciding to be a director, patient. You have to love actors even when they are doing wrong. Being a director, you have to know acting, you have to know producing, you have to know journalism, you have to know science. It's not to say action and cut. What is very important, the difference between European and American filmmakers? You have to make this decision since the beginning of your career. If you want to be an art director, then you have to stay in Europe. In Hollywood, it's a business. Now, that doesn't mean you make a Hollywood movie and has no emotions, no, no moral, no... Yes, a smart director does a commercial movie and puts all the art inside. So before you make a movie, you have to, to, to see which group you're going to qualify. If you want to make a Hollywood movie, art has to be inside. Good script, stars, financial, and move to the next one.